Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. 72 GTO convertible, done up really, really cool. I gotta tell you, not only was the car professionally reproduced and restored, it actually was in with the same family its entire life, went outside the family for a few minutes, but locally, like right down the street, and then right back in, and then they had it restored. We went ahead and we finished it all up. I went ahead and added a couple things that I liked. I added up the stripe kit, I added up the hood tack, I added on the 17 inch honeycomb wheels, uh, with the Tiger Paw high speed radials. I think it completes the car, it makes it look awesome. The fact that these are like period correct kind of wheel of that era that would normally come in a 15 inch, this 17 inch plus it's eight inches wide, looks really good. It fills the fender well so beautifully and I put the exhaust splitter tips on the side down there. And I just think this car looks great, man. It's a, such a great cruising car, especially the inside too, because it's really comfortable when you take some people out for a drive and have a great time. Um, the one thing about it is, it is matching numbers, okay? The engine has been rebuilt and it has a little more power than it would have come from the uh, factory originally. And when I started for you, you can hear it's got a little bit of cam in it. It's got a Flowmaster exhaust, so it sounds really good. The splitter tips just sound great coming out the sides. Um, it comes to things like uh, power steering, power brakes. And I'm just running down the list right here, and it's just uh, uh, great. I love the rear wing that's on here. And I think you got if you're going to have the hood tack, you got to throw the rear wing on. It just kind of completes the whole package and makes it look really, really nice. Let's take a peek under here for a minute. Okay, this is nicely done. So check this out. Dressed up all like you would get a GTO. Engine's all painted nicely. The reason part of the exhaust sounds so good, it has ceramic coated headers in here, Flowmaster exhaust all the way out back. But it does have things that we forget to ask about. One of them is power steering, power brakes, okay? This car is an original AC car. We have a lot of the parts that's not hooked up and you could probably finish it up if you wanted to, but it was an original AC car. Most of the stuff is still there, okay? But it's nicely detailed with the decals and stuff like that. So you'd be proud to show it off if you went to a car show or you could just drive it with the family to the beach. Uh, take it to dinner, any of those cool things, because uh, that's what makes these so much fun is that they're, you know, of course they could be a daily driver for you at any time, but the nice thing is they're not daily drivers. You get in them on a Friday, a Wednesday, go for a ride on a Sunday, or take it to dinner on a Saturday night. And this is the car that they park out front uh, when you go to the valet. It's just really cool to see that happen. All right, let's take a peek in the trunk. The wing we talked about, the GTO call out right here, new chrome bumpers. It's all detailed there. The splitter tips come out the sides. They look really cool. Plus, they sound fabulous. I love the sound of this car. Um, all right, so let's just check this out. Because if you decide you want to take it to a car show, you know, you want to be prepared so that you can open the hood and the trunk if you want to. This has a spare tire in it. It's got the correct trunk mat. It's been splatter coat painted all inside. And you say to yourself, well, what's the big deal about a spare tire in this? Well, 99% of the cars don't come with a spare tire. This one here has it in it. It's just a nice little touch. It makes it a little more authentic. It's got the jacking instructions right here, new weather strips, okay? New chrome bumpers, which we just talked about a second ago, but it's important to be able to know, you know how the chrome is on a car, because that can be expensive. Uh, and the fit and finish is pretty good on here, okay? All right, a lot of new sheet metal on this car, too. All right, let's check out the inside for a second. This interior is beautiful. Check this out, man. It's all kind of matching uh, the theme of the outside with the gray and the blue inserts, and it's cloth, so in the heat, you're not killing yourself, sweating on vinyl or whatever, and it's really nice. The matching blue boot to the paint looks really good. This GT wheel here, it's a three-spoke wheel. Nice, this console is nice because it's covered in the same uh, material as the, uh, as the door panels. Got an upgraded Alpine sound system in it, so it's got uh, CD, satellite, iPod, like all that hookup. The gauges are nice. Clearly set up still for the AC if you wanted to go ahead and add that. But little things like, I know this sounds like a big deal, but the oil light works, the generator light, those are the warning lights that are on there. The turn signals work, the high beams work. You say, well, what's the big deal? Well, listen to me, man. The footwell lighting is working right here. This is the kind of car that I'm trying to make sure that you get, a car that you can turn key and enjoy. All right, because all of these things work so well, uh, we're currently offering, let me, turn this, let me turn the stereo down, the Alpine stereo, by the way. Uh, we're currently offering a one-year warranty on these cars. The price, the offered price, includes free and closed door-to-door -door shipping. We go through the cars front to back, you get the receipts of all the work that we put into these cars. I probably spent eight or $9,000 on this car getting it to this level so that you could enjoy it. But uh, I did say that the car sounded great, and I'd like to start it for you so you can hear what it sounds like. The 
cool thing about these cars is, first off, this one in particular, this has this great looking blue cloth top, which looks so rich compared to like the vinyl model. But uh, it just makes it so easy. So you pop the latches real quick, right? And you're hitting the down button. You call whoever it is you're gonna call that you're on the way home on a Friday after work, because you drove this to work and just remember how cool it sounded when you went to work this morning. And now you're popping the top, and you call them, I'll be home in a little while, and you shut the cell phone off. No texting, no email, no cell phone calls. Boom, and you get on the road. We'll just throw the boot on real quick, and we're gonna roll on down the road. You know, in closing up this video, it's uh, anytime you can get a professional uh, reproduction and restoration on a car, it's the way you wanna go. A one family owned car, that's kind of a cool ad. Some nice touches like this. The fact that the top goes down, and it's a blue cloth top, the odometer is showing 6,060 miles since the restoration. Uh, you know, just this is a nice piece, man. I'm telling you, for what we're asking for this car here, you couldn't build it yourself. And even if you could, it'd be a couple years. You'd have to factor in labor and not charge yourself anything for it, even if you could turn every nut and screw on the car. So I don't know. It's just uh, uh, pretty nice stuff with the hood tack and the exhaust and what have you. And not to mention, it's a great looking car. So anyway, call us if we can help you. 301-816-1000 will help find you an awesome, awesome uh, work car, summer car, beach car, whatever it is you want it to be that'll put a smile on your face while you're rolling down the road.